you for this invitation. Can you talk about how your art career began and what your overall practice is um, and describe your aesthetic? Well, it actually started in, um, in advertising, majored in advertising, minored in illustration and graphic design. And once I moved back, to, uh, I was born here. Once I was born, I was born here in Chicago, and once I we moved away and I came back in 93 and um, what really happened was um, I was no longer engaged in advertising once getting to Chicago and I started out looking at um, my daughter's work as far as she was three years old and she was drawing and sketching and I really got involved in her her creativity um, as, as a, just as a, a little one she she did these abstract drawings and so forth. So I just became encouraged to kind of venture off into the fine art world through her, um, copying her work, um, making it bigger, painting it. And um, so that really just developed into my fine arts. When were you introduced to black creativity at the Museum of Science and Industry? Well, I actually, uh, in 07, I just, uh, I started um, dating an artist by the name of Candace Hunter, and she uh, um, encouraged me to come to the show because she had been uh, she had been accepted. She had put in some works, accepted. I, I'm like, okay, Black Creativity Museum of Science and Industry. What is you know what's going on? And so uh, her involvement got me started. Um, went to the show, met beautiful people. I uh, was encouraged by what the Museum of Science and Industry was doing uh, by way of their facility in association with the community. Uh, and just, so it was really an encouragement just to have the art um, in this location. Um, I had grew up where my art teacher, um, Renee Evans, would say to me, well, you know, art is related to every facet. So the science, the math, um, inventions, uh, engineering, and so writing, photography. He, he mixed it all together, and here I could see it for the first time really kind of coming together in one place. What does creativity mean to you? Creativity to me is invention. It's um, about inventing one's um, interest, uh, whatever facet of the world of life you, you kind of experience, putting yourself into it, and um, and and again inventing within within that. So again, that's why I really uh, I find interesting about it being associated with the Museum of Science and Industry is that it's about invention. It's about um, the ideas that you come up with and making them real. So I really enjoy um, seeing other works. Um, the fact that they work with students, work um, on different levels, encouraging them to use their creativity um, in science and, and in other facets of, of industry really, um, really encourages me because then I, I go to the show and I learn um, what other people are doing, what other people are involved with, how they're using their creativity, how it can become involved in politics every day to day, or just the sheer enjoyment of just painting and drawing and shooting you know, photographs and everything. It's just, I just love that invention part of it. We're approaching 50 years of the Black Creativity Program at Museum of Science and Industry. Why do you think this program should continue? Well, it, it's actually become part of my art history. It's become part of the art history of, of a lot of my colleagues. Um, we actually depend on it because it's become such a, um, a infusing focus of having everyone come together, of having a showcase that's respected, of being able to, um, again, we, we're actually relying on it now. Um, after 50 years of it, it's almost like family. Um, in respect to, oh, we can look forward to this moment every year. Um, we can look forward to whether we're accepted or not. Um, there have been moments when I've, I've put work in and it hasn't been picked, 
but it does not deny the fact that I want to go, I want to see, I want to learn from what other artists have, are doing, what other photographers are creating. Uh, just visually, it's, uh, it's almost like a, an, an infusing force that keeps me going to start the year off right. Um, so for, for it to just keep, keep infusing that idea, it's been a wonderful, wonderful thing. What advice would you give to young creative people? Young creative people? Um, for students, me, high schoolers. Students, high schoolers. Well, for the fact that I've, I've worked um, with students by way of Little Black Pearl and all the other institutions surrounding the art community, um, I know for a fact that they need encouragement to know that art is important. I got it through my mother and my grandmother and from different other institutions coming up, um, the, the community organizations and, and the community growing up. They would take us to different venues. They would uh, give us the opportunity to see. So for students, my advice to them again is just to continue go see, go visit the museums we have. Chicago is such an infusion of beautiful places to go. Um, from the Smart Museum, from High Park Art Center. Uh, you, you have so many museums and, and graphic places to go to. You have so many willing uh, artists and photographers and sculptors and writers who will let you talk to them. You know, they're, they're encouraging in their own world, they're teachers. They, um, so for me, um, don't feel as a student that you can't approach. Uh, that you can't visit, that you shouldn't. You go downtown, go, go south side, northwest, wherever you see something of interest, my advice is, is to be a part of And I see you have a lovely piece here that you are currently working on. Uh, could you talk about this artwork? Well, the piece I brought was basically uh, to encourage me because it's a work in progress. And I consider myself a work in progress. I really, um, like I said, I'm pulling together pieces of paper and, and ideas. I'm listening to um, John Coltrane's Love Supreme, which is just my energy behind what I'm doing. And because I work in mostly music work, and it, it, it gives me an opportunity to, um, again, invent. I'm, I'm really inventing um, colors and, and looking. It gives me a chance to look in magazines and find the pieces the parts of it that work for this piece. So uh, I'm really, again, I, I'm, I brought it because I wanted it to encourage me to um, continue to be this work in progress. Excellent. Do you have a most memorable uh, black creativity exhibit that either you participated in or that you attended? Well, um, I, uh, last year, I, again, was able to attend the gala. And just being a part of the gala was really fascinating to me to see all the people and all, and all that um, the Museum of Science and Industry put into it. It was like, it was not only just um, uh, the show itself, but it was the show in, in cooperation with the students' work, um, working with, um, again, the dining atmosphere was beautiful. Uh, the way the artists' work there was used for the dining area. Um, I believe the previous winner of the year before, um, I don't know. Risha. Risha. Risha, she, her work was, I was like amazed that they went to the extent of saying, okay, we're going to make her the backdrop. We're going to make her the table settings. We're going to make her, um, everything about um, the gala was, was arranged around an artist. And Risha's work was, was used and I was like, oh my, this, you know, it's very seldom that you see where an artist's potential, their ideas, or their invention has been uh, pulled out in all these other different areas. And I was just like really uh, so excited just to be able to see that. I, 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 I mean, I listened to the music and I enjoyed the food and all the entertainment involved, but it was the fact that um, it was important, art was important. And, the um, creativity of an artist was taken into uh, another level, and I enjoyed that. Beautiful. 
Do you have any uh, other thoughts or anything else that you'd like to share with us? Uh, the only thought is that um, for it to continue. It's like, um, again, it's, it's, uh, it's now part of my history. Um, it's something that I look forward to, again, regardless whether I'm accepted or not in terms of, of, of a work of art. Again, I, I go now just again to infuse some more ideas, to yeah. come up with some more um, energy to work for the, for the rest of the year. It's a great start um, for, the, for a new year for me. Um, I, I, again, to have the audience that it brings um, to artists and photographers and sculptors and writers and, and designers graphically, um, again, just visually all together, to have those people actually come to the Museum of Science and Engineering and see um, how wonderful things are put together, the display of the work, um, how it's handled, um, uh, how, again, all the festivities that go along with the program, uh, the learning experiences that the students get, um, is something that I, I, I really feel um, infuses uh, what's going on in Chicago, which should go on um, in other cities. Um, it's an example that uh, I really hope that it continues uh, to be. Excellent. Thank you so much, Arthur. Oh, thank you.